Okay, I had a serious problem this morning with my MakerBot Next Generation 5 replicator. I love this machine. I've heard some people say there's some bad things about it. I've had really good experience with it for like seven months now. Up until this point, this was the first major issue. This morning I started it up and it started to print and you know how it nor normally lays down this bead here and then it would start to do the um, ground form for for whatever item you're printing. Well, instead of this, I had a couple streaks that went this way and a great big ball of goo on the bottom of the nozzle. So, my first thought was that the bed needed to be leveled. So I went up and I went through and ran the leveling program. And in the middle of the leveling program, one of the um, adjustment knobs down here, it was actually the one on the right hand side, came to the end of its travel and literally fell out in my hand. And at this point I said, oh shit. Now, it took me quite a while to get this straightened out, but a little thinking and some common sense and I got it back together again. Now since I have um, sent an email and opened a claim with MakerBot, that was probably all of an hour ago. So they haven't responded, I'm sure they will. But this is the way I fixed it. I found there were two problems. One, I may have not had a problem originally the MakerBot may have just needed to be restarted. Because I did notice every time I would go through the leveling as I tried different things, that it would take a leveling measurement here, then here, here, then here. Now normally it goes here, here, and then over here, some, some variation of that pattern. But it was only paying attention to these two points. That should have been a clue to me earlier that there was something wrong with the computer. It really needed to be rebooted. But I didn't catch that, so I went on and, and several times I tried different variations of leveling, tightening the, the um, screws there, the adjusters all the way up. I set them at half level. Pretty soon I got a bed that looks, you know, crooked like this. And that's when it hit me. So what I did, and I'll, I'll do part of it here with you. Um, I'm going to go up here to settings. And I went down up to calibration. And we're going to level the build plate and start assisted leveling. Okay. Oh, it wants me to unload the film. And I'm not going to go through that again. But what I did do is I started the leveling process. So the bed came up, it took its first measurement. And while it was saying, um, it always says turn the knobs, tighten them about two to three full turns. That's when I broke out a little bit of inspiration and I went and I got my level. This is off of a square. Now if you don't have a level handy, you go down to the hardware store and get yourself, I don't know what they're called, they're a very short level, has two little ears on it and they use it like when they're pouring concrete on a sidewalk and they run a string across and this thing hangs on the string. It would be much better than this. But what I did is I figured out what my machine's basic level was here. And it wasn't really close to level, it's still not quite level. But I see that the bubble is just a hair over this side. Okay, so I made a mental note of that. I went, I put the level over here, and I got the same. So now I kind of know where my machine's level is. I went up here to see if the machine is square, and I got the same um, leveling both sides of the machine. So my machine isn't sitting level, but I know where it's its level is. And now with the bed was in the air because I had stopped it in the middle of the um, leveling process, I put my level on the bed and I worked with the front screw until I had it level matching what I got down here off of the chassis. And then I leveled it on this side. Okay. And then after I was pretty sure I had it leveled, I sat back, I looked at it. But yeah, that, to the eyeball, that looks pretty darn close to level. And so then I got the brainstorm, maybe I should just reboot the machine. And this is probably what I should have done at the very beginning because the machine, like any computer, they get screwed up after running and for a long time. And I've been printing a lot of model railroad prints, making stuff for, um, I sell model railroading and cool stuff like here's a camp car shell that I made that I print. But... I've been printing a lot of stuff on this, and it had been running probably two days straight without a restart. So I was think went through at this point the leveling. Now, 
pardon me, the cat guy here. I went through the leveling process a couple times, and that's when I noticed that it was hitting here and here. It wasn't checking all sides of the plate. So I restarted it. I canceled the, the that um, version of the leveling program. I restarted the, the thing, waited for it to reboot, shut it all the way down, restarted. When it came up, I then went through the leveling program again. This time, it checked the level point here, 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 and in like three minutes, um, it, I was, it said it was level. So I went in and I printed uh, one of their um, little designs they have there in memory of the, of the printer, and I printed this cool little box. And that's when I knew the thing was back in shape. So, if you need to level it, um, and one of the screws falls out in his mid-travel, um, start the leveling process, stop it, adjust the screws so they're probably in the center. You know, each one's halfway up in. Use a real level to get the level of the pad to match the level of the chassis. Not necessarily the table it's on, but these, you know, because the level of your print head is based on the level of your chassis. And you get it this way, and then you make sure it's this way. And it was kind of hard because she was up there when she did it. Anyway, um, ah, nice light just kicked on. So after I went through and did that, I did run the, I rebooted, and then I ran the leveling process, and it was like five minutes, and wham, bam, it, it leveled itself out, and I was happily back printing cool things again. So hopefully this will help you, because I couldn't find any help on the internet. I saw a few people that said they had that problem, but here's my fix. Whether it's the right one or not, it does work. All right, good luck with your printing. Jimmy, say goodbye. Yeah, not going to say goodbye now.